So this research really centers around induced pluripotent stem cells and what those stem cells are are that they're bioengineered stem cells that come from ordinary tissue sources that we can create pluripotent cells. And what that means is pluripotent cells are like embryonic stem cells in that they can become any tissue in the body. But they actually started from not an embryo but from the patient's own body. The problem with this technology to use clinically is that these cells can become anything they want and can form tumors if we would use them in therapeutic applications. So what this study is really focused on, is there a way that we could weed out those contaminating cells that could be disruptive in an application and keep the cells that we want to repair tissue, such as the heart tissue. And so this research found a new way of targeting those contaminating cells and weeding them out without affecting the normal healthy tissue that we're trying to regenerate. So we've started in preclinical models and where this leads us, we hope that we can continue to make this safer and effective so that potentially we could think about one day using this as therapeutic applications for patients. Induced pluripotent stem cells or bioengineering uh, stem cells is, is a very new technology. It's only um, bis discovered since 2006. Um, we're learning a lot about this technology every day. It's very exciting in that we can start with the patient's own sample of cells and make stem cells from their body so there wouldn't be any immunorejection type of complications if we use them for transplant medicine. But there are a lot of challenges with all new technologies and this particular technology is the tumor forming potential of these cells but there's also a lot of other challenges with the bioengineering process. So we're systematically working through these challenges with the goal of trying to bring this to more realistic um, therapeutic options.